What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am Jim Mint. This is the world's greatest comic book man cave in the world. We're going to do a quick little room tour. I've done a gang of room tours since I started the channel because I'm always rearranging things, getting new things in, and just refining the room. So, with that being said, we'll start in the outside of the room here. I have the arcade one up, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles machine. This is a temporary setup. I'm going to be getting the NBA Jam, and I'll probably put lights and stuff to spruce up the corner a little bit. But for right now, we just have the lonely Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And let's step into the room. So, just walk in real quick, do a glance. We'll do an in-depth look at what I collect, what kind of shelving, what kind of lights, and all that good stuff. So, the biggest change for those of you guys who follow me, uh, I have brought all of the X-Men statues back into the room. We're using these garage shells from Home Depot. Uh, Fee really hooks it up, man. She's the creative one here. She puts this white contact paper on all of the wood shells, and we're using strip lights. Let's see if we can get a good look here. Strip lights from Home Depot as well. So we have two light, two rows of lights on the top that's lighting up these guys. Then we have two rows uh, above each shelf to shine on those guys and same on the bottom. Also, the way we set this up is that I put all my switch outs on this bottom row and some other stuff that I'm just kind of getting out of the way, like some books. Those are kind of like some very oversized large books or encyclopedia books or what have you. So this is the X-Men wall that I'm working on. At the bottom we have, uh, and these are all sideshow except for one. The uh, Magneto maquette. This is Sideshow's Mystique, but with a custom portrait on it. I do have a CGC 9.8 of X-Men 300. I just like that hologram cover. I think everyone has had that one if you grew up in the 90s. Uh, up here, X-23, Wolverine, and Rogue. We have Emma Frost, Jean Grey, and Cable. And these are the George Molina art prints in the background. This is the current one that he's selling on his Instagram page where Gene and Cyclops have the 90s Jim Lee costume. And then this one is the New York Comic Con exclusive. This is number two out of 50 where they're all in that kind of uniform look. Up here we have Sabretooth with Logan. Here's my little X-Force area with Domino, X-Force, Deadpool, and Psylocke. Over here, we got, we got the lone XM piece for right now, XM Wolverine. And I got this little canvas uh, DC Comics thing right here. Right here, it's just kind of temporary. I got the 110 scale, uh, Iron Studios, Professor X, and Mystique. And then the little PCS collectibles, Optimus Prime, which is actually uh, I'm donating for a charity raffle. So that's going to be out of here. But uh, I have the Iron Studios Sentinel dioramas on order. The, well, the first two that are available. Just did a little trade with my boy Cartel from Hell, so I'm gonna get the old school Apocalypse Premium format in here. And I might even get the Sentinel maquette again to put uh, in here to start filling up these other areas. So I think that answers all the questions about those statues. We talked about the shelving, the lighting, and the pieces. All right, so let's keep moving. In this corner, got some other arcade one-ups. Probably my favorites, man. The Street Fighter II uh, arcade one-up cabinet and the Mortal Kombat one, which I love, man. It collects uh, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Got the stools to match with the risers. Uh, down here, this is just a little frame that I made with Fee, with my wife. It's the um, back of the X-Men 1 gatefold poster with some X-Men holograms. Uh, this frame I got done professionally at Michael's. It has the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces, my favorite trading card set of all time by one of my favorite artists, Joe Jusco. This is what got me into comics as a kid. To me, it's still the best all-around trading card set, and it's inexpensive. I mean, you could buy this whole set for like $20, but I just love the artwork and what it means to me. 
I do have some comic book posters on the walls. Guys, you always ask me, I just searched comic book posters on eBay and they're like eight to $10 each. So I got those, um, these commissions I had, I think it was uh, Sal Bertulli. I mean, I, I think I might've butchered, butchered his name. Had him do those. I got a Venomar print from, I think, El Paso Comic Con. Uh, and before we look at a detailed look at the books, let's take a look at the other posters here. These are all just off eBay, inexpensive. I have a slanted wall, so I thought it would be cool to kind of put those, uh, you know, on that wall there. I do have two of the Marvel Superheroes arcade one-up cabinets. It's kind of a long story. This is the regular one that comes from, uh, that was sold at, uh, at Walmart. And then over here, I have the limited edition one, which was only available through Arcade One Up's website. The marquee doesn't look good on camera from far away, but as you can see up close, that's how it looks in person. It looks awesome. Got the stool. Uh, let's see. I guess let's uh, continue with what's on top of the shelves, and then we'll look at the books individually, because that's going to take a minute. Uh, first of all, these are Ikea Calyx, and they have all different types of setups. They're, these are a lot of, you know, 2 by 4 cubed ones, and I got a 4 by 4 over there. So, Calyx from Ikea. Up here, just have some manga box sets, Akira, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I kind of put some miscellaneous stuff up here sometimes. I uh, got some switch out portraits for... The Spider-Man and Agent Venom custom pieces we'll take a look at. All the Ninja Turtle Archie Comics trades. The entire uh, animated series. Some trading card tins that have the, the whole set in there. Uh, this Thanos is from Diamond Select from Infinity War. We're actually giving this away for our 75,000 subscriber giveaway. All you got to do is comment on this video or any video that we promote the giveaway in. And once we hit 75K, we're gonna go ahead and do a random comment generator, and we're gonna give that away. Got the Pop Culture Shock or PCS Collectibles Turtles line that I'm working on. Sideshow Spider-Man, and this becomes kind of like my Spider-Man slash customs area. So we got Agent Venom custom right here. We got the Hobgoblin custom, Spider-Man custom, Demo Goblin, Doppelganger, and Spawn. So those are all unlicensed pieces. Can't talk about where they come from or any of that stuff, but that's that's there. All right, so moving on to the Omnibus. Guys, if you don't know what an Omnibus is, it's a hardcover book that collects either an entire run of comics, the entire works of a creative team, or an entire event. So, for instance, this is Batman, the Golden Age Omnibus Volume 1. It collects his first appearance in Detective Comics 27. And then it goes on to keep uh, collecting Detective Comics and then Batman, you know, 1 through 7 from the original run in the 40s. And I have every DC, Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age Omnibus that they've released so far. Fee is reading Superman Volume 1, so that's why it's just a dust jacket. But uh, I really enjoy having all that history on the shelf. Going over here, we, we continue the Bronze Age stuff. And then every DC Omnibus. So, uh, for an example, American Vampires, a DC Vertigo title by Scott Snyder. It collects the entire run of those comics. And it's an oversized format. The entire Animal Man by Grant Morrison. The entire Animal Man by Jeff Lemire. So that kind of shows you the difference between, like... A consecutive run like the, the Golden Age Batman to just like everything that Jeff Lemire did for Animal Man. A lot of Batman Omnibus, Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, Jack Kirby stuff. These are also still, uh, Bronze Age Omnibus but DC started changing up the artwork on the spine so threw a little wrench in the plan there. So there's some Omnis I don't have, like the new Flash by Jeff Johns, because I have the original three volumes. 
And then there was like a DC Rebirth omnibus, which I have right here. But they ended up coming out with like uh, a revised version that I never decided to pick up. Oh, and I do have a couple Absolute Editions here. And I have some others by the independent stuff that I'll show you guys. Uh, here goes every Marvel Comics omnibus release so far. And so to give you an example, like the Infinity Gauntlet omnibus has the main story, plus all the tie-ins, the prelude issues, the aftermath issues. Same with like Planet Hulk or uh, World War Hulk. But then this book has all the Hulk stuff that was written by Peter David, well, volume one. So just if, if you guys are not uh, really omnibus collectors and don't know what they are. So got a ton of stuff. Got some custom uh, bound omnibus as well, like this Fantastic Four by Mark Miller. That's a uh, custom. So I know a lot of times you guys want me to go and take a deeper look into the library. So I guess you guys can like pause or whatever. If you want to use this as like a video checklist. But I do read these. I mean, if you guys are new to the channel, I do reviews on them. No, I have not read every single one of them. But this is like my quarantine plan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or the retirement plan to just have every single book to read. Oh, hold on, this camera's getting crazy. And then towards the end here, I do have just kind of like some oversized hardcovers and um, trade paperbacks. So, you know, I mentioned I'm, I'm home quarantined right now, so got my work laptop, got the channel laptop, some coffee, and I always <laughs> uh, leave these books out too, man. So, the desk has some shelf space for some other books here. And then lastly, this is like the independent stuff. The Dark Horse books, the Image books, IDW, Boom Studios, Deluxe Editions, Absolute Editions. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Some Omnibus here as well. And on the bottom, I have my short boxes that have my single issue comics. Kind of building up a decent collection since I started picking those up again. And started doing the weekly comic book reviews. All right, guys, so I guess that's pretty much everything. Call it the greatest comic book room in the world. For me, it is, because it just has a mix of everything I like. Comics, statues, video games, like retro arcade games. So this is uh, my room, guys. Let me know what you think about the room in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like I said, we're going to do a giveaway for this Thanos statue once we hit the 75K. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.